Evelyn, I'm going to let you check and see if we've missed anybody that would like to step up, step up for a may message. I, well, so uh, done, Samji. So yes, done, Samji. Uh, may I follow up on Meke? Thank you, Meke. I wouldn't have said it better. And, and that's why I wrote this book, One Who Dreams is Called a Prophet. Now, this is an indigenous nomadic proverb. You have to dream. My dream is hope. And all prophets remember Moses, Muhammad, uh, Jesus. They're all dreamers, really. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, this is a book on the walk. And when you walk, you open your senses to the environment, to the communities, to the animals. And, uh, and you listen to what people say, and you feel and you touch. This book uh, actually is on 10 walking sticks. When you touch a walking stick, and when it's exchanged as in Africa, you have touched the hand of somebody else. And that touch has now brought it into your body. And, but how do I uh, talk to children? And they really need it. And children are the ones who are most open to the senses. So if you want to learn about de-educating yourself from the texts and working with your senses all again, work with children. And they, and they are great teachers. And, and that's why I wrote this, I did this illustrated book now. On, on, on the big book, I'm now putting it into illustrations, working with my uh, graphic artist uh, brother. And at the back, we have the cardboard uh, figures here that children can play with. And as they play, they tell stories and they expand on these stories. Thank you, Meke. You warm my heart. And thank you, everybody, Linda, Evelyn, and my big community, world global community. Thank you. Thank you for being with us, Sultan. We're so happy that you could be with us this year. 